Hello guys, and in this lesson we are going to do simple trigonometric equations and we are going to learn how to solve theta and x. Our first example is cos theta is equal to 0 0.5. Now in order to find cos theta I need to find the value for theta which will make this 0 0.5. So I need to reverse the trigonometric function. How I do that is I simply use the reverse function on the calculator. On the calculator, what you do, you press shift, cos, it'll go to cos to the power of negative 1, and then I put in 0 0.5, close the bracket, and I can see 60 degrees. Therefore, theta is equal to 60 degrees. So those steps on the calculator, I press shift and then cos. This will take me to the reverse of the cos function. To test my answer, I can say the cos of 60. And if I am correct, then the value should be a half. In the second example, we have tan theta is equals to 3.29, and we want to find the angle size for which this is true. I follow the same procedure as before, and I'm going to reverse the tan ratio. So what I do on the calculator, I press shift, tan, 3.29, Nine, close the bracket, equals, and the answer is 73.09 degrees. Therefore, theta is 73.09 degrees. It's okay to round off to two decimal places, and it's also important to show that it's an angle, so I must put degrees in there. In our next example, we have sine theta is equals to 0 0.5. So I'm going to take the reverse of the sine ratio on the calculator. How that would look like is shift, sine, 0 0.5, close the bracket, equal 30. That means the sine of 30 is equal to a half. In the next example, we have 2 cos theta is equal to 1.6. But now, in order to find cos theta, I need to get rid of this 2. So my suggestion is that we start from left to right. So the first thing from the left is there's a 2. And how I get rid of that 2 is I divide by 2. And what I do on the left, I must do on the right. The 2s will cancel each other out. So I have cos theta is equal to 0 0.8. Now I can find theta by taking the reverse and putting it in on my calculator. So it's shift cos 0 0.8, close the bracket, is equal to 36.87. Remember to round properly. In this example, we have sine 2 theta. It's not the same as saying 2 times sine theta. This, the 2 is now multiplying the angle size. So in order to solve theta, I first need to get rid of sine. Remember what I said. We work from left to right. So the first thing on the left is sine. How I get rid of the sine is I take its reverse on the calculator. Shift, sine, 0 0.46, close, and that is 
Notice I don't round off yet because I haven't found my final value for theta. In order to find theta, I need to divide both sides by 2. So on the calculator, all I do, I press divide by 2 and I'll have a proper value for theta. And now my rounding would be correct. It's 13.69 degrees. In this example, we have a half tan 3x equal to 6. Starting from the left, I want to get rid of the half. So I'm going to multiply by 2. 2 times a half is 1. So I have tan 3x. And what I do on the left, I need to do on the right as well. So tan 3x is equal to 12. The next step is I will get rid of the tan. So 3x is equal to the reverse of tan. And I put in 12. On the calculator, it's shift, tan, 12. Close the bracket, equal, 85.23. And remember, I don't remove the decimals yet. I keep them on my calculator. To find x alone then, I divide by 3. So, divide by 3, that is equal to... 28.41 degrees. So in order to solve x, I started from the left, remove the half, then I remove the tan, then I divide it by 3. In our last example, we have 1 plus 2 cos x plus 15 in brackets is equal to 2.48. So I'm going to remove the values from the left and move my way towards the right in order to solve x. So the first thing that I do, I'm going to get rid of the 1. On the left, it is plus 1. So on the right, it will become minus 1. 2.48 minus 1, 1.48. Then to get rid of the 2, I divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 will give me cos x plus 15 degrees and 1.48 divided by 2 is 0.74. Now to get rid of cos, I take the reverse of the cos. But that is equal to cos negative 1, 0 0.74. So x plus 15 degrees is equal to, and I use my calculator, shift cos 0 0.74, close the bracket, and that is 42.27 degrees. Now, in order to find x alone, I will move over the 15 degrees. That then is 27.27 .27 degrees.